welcome back finally we will start showing the complete implementation of our genetic algorithm to solve this permutation representation problem in this implementation I will have the following five classes a class called point which is a simple class to model a point we've seen this before when we did the binary representation problem so a quick look here a class to present to represent a point it has two coordinates x and y right another class is called dash or maybe you can call it line segment a simple class to model a line segment as you uh, know we will only have uh, the two endpoints of the line segment so this class called point will be used here in this class uh, dash or maybe as I said we can call it for example line segment right it has two coordinates two points yeah and these are just to get the values um, another class this is actually a big class I named it utility in it I have put several methods such as methods for uh, checking the adjacency of two line segments or checking the collinearity of two line segments as I explained in the previous videos maybe uh, the methods to for generating random numbers the method for randomizing array contents for example when we initialize the population uh, and much uh, and many many more methods I, I'd like you to check it all the methods are uh, commented so they should be self-explanatory there's many of them for example finding the distance between two points finding the maximum and the minimum number in an array uh, of uh, in, a, in a double array using dot product and cross product here to find the distance for example between a point and a line segment I'm sure I'm sure you're familiar with this and as I said many many more methods so have a look at them uh, checking adjacency checking collinearity uh, generating random numbers as we mentioned before uh, finding the index of an array in an element for example I'm sorry the index of an element in an array uh, you know rot rotation we spoke about these things when we uh, uh, implemented um, order one crossover before and much more as we mentioned before shuffling the array here just to randomize array elements and we use this when we do uh, uh, when we initialize the population right and then I have placed the four mutation methods that we learned in the previous we learned in the previous videos I placed them in a class called mutation just to uh, make things easy to understand class called mutation swap mutation insert mutation inversion mutation and the scramble mutation we've seen these before right and then the permutation genetic algorithm this is the actual class where we implement the and uh, where, where we run the genetic algorithm right now in this class this is what we're going to do we will start with a random population and then we'll repeat the following steps maximum number two of times or until we find the solution so we have two ways to stop the program either we find the solution or we reach the maximum number of iterations right what we do is we start as we mentioned with a random population and then we find the fittest element in the population if its fitness is 9 then we found the solution if not then we keep track of it because as we said we want to keep track of the best solution so far we evolve the population and then repeat now we have, because we have a new population we uh, uh, explained this before and we have seen the Java implementation so we just repeat go back you know, find the fittest element in the new population uh, if, it, if the fitness is 9 then you find the solution otherwise keep track of it and so on and so forth so this class looks as follows we just declare several variables the population size uh, the length of the chromosome 10 because we have 10 dashes mutation rate uh, crossover rate to add uh, randomness to the process we say maximum number of tools maybe 3000 remember the number of elements here is 10 if the number of elements is 30 for example the problem will be almost impossible to solve because the number of permutations is extremely large I mean I can't even uh, uh, tell I uh, pronounce that, that number yeah it's extremely large right and here we have 10 dashes we have coordinates so the right order is dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash, dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash 9 dash 10 right we put them in this array of dashes as we explained before 
and then we just in create an, uh, pop the population and then we'll initialize it later the size is population size 30 members each member is of length 10 and then um, you know this is like an initial chromosome so this is the perfect solution but we'll randomize it and then we we'll try to find the solution via the um, genetic algorithm and then we want to keep track of the best chromosome so far so we say okay let's assume that our best chromosome so far initially is of fitness zero you notice how there's no two consecutive uh, elements which are uh, collinear and adjacent right and then we just keep track whether we found the solution or not in the main method we call we, we call this method called uh, run ga let's stop here and explain more in the next video thanks again i'll see you next time